If you enjoy the content on this channel and would like to help me out with the production of more content for this channel, then please consider supporting me on Patreon, link in the description down below. Hello everybody, this is Seether Cord, and welcome to another installment of my furry review slash analysis series here on YouTube. Now when I originally started doing this series on my channel, it went from me reviewing different forms of like artistic creations done by furries to then talking about videos of other people talking about furries. And this video we're going to be reviewing today is the first time where I'm going to be reviewing slash analyzing a video of a fellow furry talking about the furry fandom and furry haters in general. And who are we going to start off with for doing something like this for the first time? Well, we are going to be reviewing one of the most hated furry YouTubers on all of YouTube. And that is none other than Manic Rhymes. Now, Manic Rhymes is a YouTube channel that's been inactive for over a year, but their channel mostly consisted of many different types of videos they would make, mostly consisting of gameplay content as well as rants slash vlogs slash Q&As. The video that most people know him for is a video he made entitled People Who Hate Furries Are Idiots Rant Vlog released back in August of 2015. Now this video became very popular around the time when Leafy is Here was still a big YouTuber and he was making a lot of videos kind of like ranting or reacting to a lot of other YouTube videos. And Leafy made a response video to this guy simply called Sex Furries, great name by the way. And that video got over 1 million views, basically a million people saw Leafy reacting to this dude. And let's just say Manic Rhymes did not get a good reception. Um, this video has over 7,000 dislikes compared to only 600 likes, and even though it did help him get to 1,000 subscribers, it did end up causing all of his videos pretty much being about half disliked. So yeah, not good for the likability of his videos on his channel. So for today's episode of Seether Talks, we are going to react to Manic Rhymes' video called People Who Hate Furries Are Idiots, Rant Vlog. So let's begin, shall we? Greetings all you maniacs out there, my name is Manic Rhymes, and today I'm going to be uh, doing a little bit of a rant vlog uh, on uh, people who hate furries. Okay, now you're probably wondering, why the hell is he talking into whatever that is? It's a microphone. I made a, a makeshift pop protector. I feel like that might just be a piece of tissue or a piece of styrofoam. I can't really tell by the angle, but oh my god, he picks his nose. <sighs> Isn't... Being different a good thing? Normality is kind of bizarre if you think about it. If we were all the same, then the world would be fucked. Difference makes a difference. Now, I might have a little bit of an unpopular opinion here, but I do think he has kind of a good point starting off, even with all the negative reception. I do agree with the fact that, yeah, being different is a pretty much good thing for the most part. You know, we can't all be the same, and to express ourselves individually, we gotta, like, accept our differences and express ourselves. Really? Really, really. Yeah, I noticed the glare, too. Hopefully this pop protector works. But, uh... What? There is one problem I do have with the way he made this video and presented it, is how there's way too much filler. There's a lot of stuff going on that he could have easily, like, cut out or edited out, like... We didn't need to see him, like, repositioning or taking off his glasses to get rid of the glare. It's just, it's distracting. I'm sorry. And it kind of derails away from the main focus of the video talking about people who hate furries. That's just so fucking stupid. That is the stupidest shit I've ever heard. You have a great friend, right? You guys are, like, closer than brothers. And you stop being friends with him just because he's a furry. What? Now I know, yada 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 yada, sex, 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 bullshit, that's all they do. No! No! That's not what it's about. That is not what it's about, you fucking assholes. 
I feel that Manic Rhymes has a good point on exactly what he's trying to express. Like, I do agree with quite a few of the reasons he has. Like, yeah, you shouldn't fall into stereotypes. Only a few furries do bad shit, which sadly represents the whole fandom to an outside perspective. But the problem I feel like with how the message of this video isn't getting across to a lot of people is because of how he's presenting himself in it. He does seem as if he's getting triggered by this whole thing and letting the people who hate on it get to him too much. Which sucks because even if you have good intentions, if you're not presenting yourself well, you're not going to be able to get your point across as well as if you didn't let your emotions get the best of you. That's even something I struggle with myself, but I do try my best to work on that all the time with keeping my emotions out of expressing my opinions. So even though he is doing kind of a bad job in expressing his good points, I do understand to an extent because a lot of people do tend to do that. The stupid stupidity of some people is just completely mind-boggling. Really. Ugh. It really annoys me. That really does annoy me. Another problem I have with this video is how he's presenting himself very narcissistic in my opinion. Yeah, there are people that are going to hate furries no matter what, and that's fine. It's just that, however, if you're not really making yourself a good point and making the fandom look better, if you come off as if like, oh, we're so much better than you, and so like, no, as long as you just be nice and not let what they say bother you and you don't respond negatively to it or act condescending about it. And trust me, I know how it can kind of backfire with kind of coming off as kind of condescending towards furry hate. Like, look at my furry slash analysis on the Pottersville film. I did not like how I was coming off in that video because I felt like I was coming off as kind of condescending towards the people that made the movie. And I'm sorry for that, and I don't feel proud of that video that much anymore because of how I was presenting myself. And, um... You know, the funny thing about furries is... Most of us are hard-working, tax-paying, law-abiding citizens, just like non-furries. We are no different. We just have different hobbies. A lot of us do dress up in animal costumes. It's the fantasy thing, right? Yeah, the video is really starting to not look like... Yeah, the video is really starting to derail, in my opinion. I'm sorry, Manic Rhymes, but you are seeming to get very, very triggered over the haters of furries. And it's just, even though you do have really good intentions, the problem is it's just you're not responding in the right way to where you cannot make yourself seem professional about it. I'm sorry. Get to know the Phantom. It's a deep and wondrous world. It really, really is. I'm not suggesting you guys become furries, but if you really look into it, it's really very interesting. The anthropomorphic characters, and by the way, furries are everywhere if you didn't know it. Looney Tunes. Bugs Bunny. Pepe Le Pew. Yeah. Disney too. Mickey Mouse. Yeah. They're everywhere. You just didn't understand what you're looking at. Now this part of the video, it's kind of weird in terms of my opinion on it. Like, yeah, a lot of furries are inspired by characters like Mickey Mouse and Bugs Bunny because of the anthropomorphic animal aspect of them. But, however, I don't really feel like that helps the furries case because there are a lot of non-furries and furry haters that I know that like those characters in those cartoons. They like the actual characters for their personality and humor and what they present in art. And even though they like those characters, that doesn't mean that they like furries because an anthropomorphic character in a cartoon or so is a lot different than a person who wears a fursuit or presents themselves as a furry online or in the world. I don't know. It's just a very weird opinion I have on that. I don't know. I just don't feel like that's really a good excuse to really like, like furries more, in my opinion. What does all this rambling rant have to do with anything? If you're still asking that question after everything I've talked about, you're ignorant. And that pretty much wraps up People Who Hate Furries or Idiots rant vlog by Manic Rhymes. I have quite a few things to say about this video. This, in my opinion, is a perfect example of a video with good intention but very bad execution. I do not think that Manic Rhymes is a bad meaning person. I just think he is someone that doesn't know how to present himself well in his opinions because I feel like he lets his emotions take over him when he's expressing his opinions, which sucks because I don't want to hate this video. I don't want to think it's a bad video, but it is because of its execution, even though it has very, very good meaning in my opinion. And I do know this guy has had a lot, a lot, a lot of hate in the fandom. And I know a lot of you guys who probably watched this video probably have a negative opinion on him as well because of, you know, 
the internet history of him and Leafy is here and things like that. But I would really ask of you guys to like maybe reconsider thinking about all the hate you give on him or all like the oh ultra cringe factor of Manic Rhymes. Because yeah, even though he did present himself in a very cringeworthy way, I don't think he's a bad meaning guy. I just feel like he's very, very socially awkward. And I have no right to speak because I'm an extremely socially awkward person myself as well. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up this episode of Furrier Review slash Analysis. Um, link in the description down below to Manic Rhymes original video. If you enjoyed my video on this topic and you want to further help out my channel, please consider donating to my Patreon, hitting that like button, turning on that notification bell, and subscribing altogether. I have been Seether Cord, and I will see you guys next time. So, goodbye everyone. <laughs>